Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. We're back out here at Herman Airport and I'm getting ready to maiden fly um, the two EDF FF-117s that I've built. The one on the left is the 64 millimeter version. Um, I size it up uh, just a little bit. I size it from a 26 inch wingspan to a 28 inch wingspan. And then the 50 millimeter on the right, that one's still the original size with the 26 inch wingspan. Um, they're both flying on 4S packs, so uh, wish me luck and we'll see how the maiden flights go on each of these. Okay, first up, we're going to do the 50 millimeter version. Um, this will be the maiden toss and see how it goes. Ready, Jonas? Yep, yep. Ooh, this is up pretty low. <laughs> Man, that was close. Yeah. Okay. It took off though. Yeah. It was way about. better than the original one. Remember yeah. the original one went straight up and straight down? Let's see, when I'm off the throttle, it comes down. When I was on the throttle, it was nosing up a little bit. Or still nosing up a little. Well, you did put some up trim, right? Yeah, quite a bit actually. Okay. That's only about half the throttle. I got some roll too. The torque rolling? Yeah, to the right. Okay, I'm trying to get it dialed in here. To get it dialed, I'll fly it a little lower, Frank. Take your yeah. time. Okay, this one does have 50 millimeter EDF. I'm only running a 1300 milliamp 4S lipo pack. Pretty quiet, man. Yeah. How yeah, much throttle is that? Paul? That's only half throttle right there. So. Sounds pretty nice. Yeah, this is the uh, EDF I bought off of Amazon. I think it's a Power Fun, I think they call them. It had a little more thrust. Um, at least the rating was over the Dr. Bad Thrust one. Okay, let me... Uh, I'll do a full throttle pass coming this way, Frank. All right. Yeah. Flying in. <laughs> not too bad. You know, it's not super fast, but it's only, only a 50, 50 millimeter. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized plane to, for a 50 millimeter to be pushing. Uh, but, you know, kind of with the weird shape of the F-117, it's hard to fit a big EDF in here and still be able to get it. You know, the fit inside the angle of that backward slope of the plane. Glide over tube <laughs> in this paraglider. Roll. Oh, you get the roll? Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty cool in the air, man. Yeah. Let me see if I can come closer to you. Yeah, I don't know what the pattern is on the bottom. I just put something weird with the leftover orange well, crap I had. Out the camera yeah. picks it up pretty good. Oh, kept going there. Oh, oh man. I think I had a nice glide. Grub a dove. Okay, guys, that was the main flight of the 50 millimeter version. Um, it definitely is not very powerful in flight but uh looks like it had enough thrust you know like i said this is kind of a big plane for a 50 millimeter edf um it has a little bit less than one to one power to weight ratio so it's not super fast but it looks pretty good and scale in the air i think what do you think yeah, Frank? it looks pretty awesome man okay guys now we're gonna try the 64 millimeter version of the ff117 let's hope it goes good like the uh, 50 millimeter did oh. come on baby climb out Damn. That was a little scary. Yeah. Okay, this one's it's going slow too. Let's see. You got too much up trim. Okay, this one, um, with the way the EDF was, it wasn't as far back as in the 50 millimeter. Yeah, it still nosing up big time. Um, so I'm only able to put a 2200 milliamp battery in there to get the balance on the CG. So this one might still need a few revisions to get right you do a glide test yet paul yeah hang on i'm still trying to get it dialed i'm 
Is it rolling to either side? No, I put a little bit of trim in right on the start. We got a tiny bit of roll to the right. That's about half the waddle. Yeah, the GBFs definitely aren't as uh, powerful overall with the thrust as the prop version, but it's flying. So <laughs> After a close <laughs> call on the launch. Yeah, it doesn't take off with quite a bit of authority as the prop version. Hey. Might have to build it with a 70 millimeter. That's full throttle there, that's not super fast. Um, this plane is fairly heavy. In the bigger version, it's uh, right about 34 ounces all up weight. Um, I may cut some cheater holes in the lid, see if that helps with the thrust. Yeah, not very powerful offering. No. What did it fall out halfway up around that loop? No, I rolled it over, but yeah. Let's see. You probably need to go up yeah, and come up, down and do a dive. dive and then go into a okay. loop. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah. Definitely no, I mean go up and then do yeah. go down into a dive right, and then yeah. pull up into a loop. Get some speed, speed coming up. down. Yeah, with it being bigger, it does have a lot more frontal area probably, so bogging it out. The EVFs do sound cool though. Yeah, that one looks looks nicer too without having a prop in there. I don't know, maybe I'll have to try the dual EDF the 250s in it maybe or something. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have that much power. But I guess the real plane wasn't, you know, super powerful either. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in, Frank. I'm All not right. sure how long I can fly with this small 2200 milliamp battery. Yeah, you're probably pushing it already. Yeah, it's probably getting hot. Okay. All righty. Okay, guys, that's a 64 millimeter main flight. 